Hey, hey, Diane Sykes here. And wanted to just hop in because I am in one of my most favorite places in the middle of Central Park, actually looking out over the boathouse, which is finally open, which I'm so excited about. And just reflecting on the sensory system. As a physiologist, this has been an area of my geeking out study for years and years. You know, our sense of taste, our sense of touch, our, t our sense of smell, our sense of um, sight, our sense of sound. We take it so for granted. I think it was Helen Keller had this quote. It was definitely Helen Keller, but I'm probably going to butcher the quote that there's nothing more blinding than a person who has sight and can't see. And it, I'm saying it wrong, but that's the gist, right? It's like, well, when we don't have one of our five senses, how deeply we can then appreciate it, but how easy it is to take them for granted. And so what happens is we get so caught in our own thoughts and playing out those, those thoughts in a full movie and actually having this experience with the part we're playing in this movie rather than having a direct experience with what's actually in your reality and then wondering why you want more money, you want a deeper connection in your relationship, you want to have better sex, you want to feel more vital, you want to lose weight, I mean all these things and we're in our minds obsessing about how we're going to get the thing, right? How are we going to get the thing? I don't have the thing right now and I want the thing and really receiving more starts with are you able to use your sensory system for input because that's what it is here for and we're blocking our ability to receive because we're not even aware of a smell a sight a sound the taste of something. So I've been working with taste personally lately. That's been my gig. However, today sitting here in the park, I'm smelling all the smells and I'm hearing all the sounds like just lighting up, hearing the musicians play and children laughing and just even being able to hear the, the birds chirping and the boats coming in, uh, the smell of hot pretzels and hot dogs and a little bit of nature and a little bit of pollution. It's all oh, wonderful. But taste is something I've been really vibrating with because I personally know that sometimes I'll eat really fast and I miss the experience. And I could be looking so forward to this, this meal I'm about to eat or, you know, uh, a glass of fine wine, which I love artisanal experiences because I do tend to be more mindful of, I'm gonna sip this wine. Hundreds of years of tradition went into making this. It, it's, it's an art. Same with coffee, same with tea, and, and creating a ritual around these experiences. But you know, sometimes it's like, this morning I even noticed myself, I ate a couple of cubes of fresh cantaloupe and it was so delectable. And it's not even cantaloupe season here in New York, but it was so perfect for me. And I just melted into it and surrendered into it. And it wasn't like it took any longer. It was just my ability to actually taste that cantaloupe on my tongue. When was the last time you allowed yourself to receive that kind of pleasure and be aware of the experience, have a direct relationship with it? So if you're feeling this dissonance between your life and the life you think you want, start playing with your senses. It's a great way to snap out of the numbness.
you can't be numb again as a physiologist like this is just straight biology here 101 you can't be numb if you become aware of one of your senses this is actually the opposite of numb right you can't be numb if you're feeling the touch of something you can't be numb if you're having a sensation of a smell so start there sending so much love and I'm right there with you and I'm taking in all of the sensory input here all the goodness so wherever you're at whatever you're doing perhaps just take a moment and enjoy whatever sensory input you can bring in and give yourself permission to receive it that's why we have these five senses peace out so much love and if you're looking for deeper support please reach out you know, now is the time you deserve that level of support especially if you are holding down a house if you're holding down a company literally holding down the fort you deserve support so please feel free to reach out I'm here I'm holding that space and I look forward to what we all get to create together so much love.